Excuse me. Be with you in a second. Yeah, I'm pretty swamped right now. How can I help? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent? I work for Uncle Sam, too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean, not to brag, but I did consider joining the feds. It's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. Why is there so much mail to sort when the town seems deserted? That's classified information. As a federal agent, you should know it's my duty to uphold the privacy and the sanctity of the mail. Unless it pertains to an investigation and you have all the necessary paperwork, I can't help you. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. I'm a federal agent, and I have some questions for you. Where do you sleep at night? I have a premium bit of cardboard real estate in the nicest part of the sewers. I've had almost no gator attacks, and there's even a grate for ventilation, so my sewer lung is even better than ever. What's that in your pocket? Looks like a wallet. I don't have a wallet. I'm a bum. You really want to play this game? <laughs> Maybe I'm just happy to see you. It's in plain sight. I don't even need a warrant to just take it. It's mine, finders keepers. Ah, so you do in fact admit there is something in your pocket. Well, um, well, I can't give it to you. What would I put my money in? I don't know. See? It's not so easy, is it, Hotshot? I've had enough. I'm a federal agent. Hand over the bloody wallet. Well, I may be a drunk bum, but I know my rights, and you need a warrant. Now, look, you find me another wallet to keep all personals in, and this one is yours. It's coming apart anyway, not like those amazing Ransom the Clown wallets they used to sell before its career hit the skids. Now, Ransom was an adulterer, a cheat, and complete... But he licensed good wallets. We'll play it your way. For now. You know anything about the body found by the bridge? A body? I thought that was a log wearing a suit. Do you know... What body? I thought we were talking about a log. Tell me what you know about Chuck. Ah, the man was an ass, and I'm glad he died of a heart attack. He ruined my life over nothing. How did Chuck ruin your life? Mr. Edmund made sure I was blacklisted in Thimbleweed Park. My so-called friends turned their backs on me. My watch repair business mysteriously burnt down, and I lost everything. Couldn't get dinner reservations, let alone a job. In the end, all I had left of my old life was my beloved Stradivarius. Why did Chuck try to ruin you? I took his girlfriend out to see that lame insult clown one night. But in my defense, Chuck changed girlfriends more often than he changed shirts. Well, how was I supposed to know she was flavor of the month for the Pilotronics playboy? We'll talk later. Where would I go? Thimbleweed Park guided tours? The future is never written. No way I'm touching that. This head seems almost alive. I think I saw it move. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore. I'm Madame Marina. Are you here for the hexes, the summer blowout sale, or 
Or, uh, based on those suits you're wearing, my tax records? I don't get too many visits from suited and booted federal agents these days. I'm Agent Reyes. I'm just here to ask a few questions, ma'am. Well, all right then. How can I help? Do you know anything about the body by the river? I know everything that goes on around here. Great! So, you know who was involved in the murder? Okay, so I don't know everything right this minute. But if you're willing to get your hands a little dirty, I can find the answers you're looking for. What do you need to help us find the killer? I don't want to break agent protocol, but we really need a lead in this case. I need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. But I can't really reach out into the void without a little bit of... assistance? If you can get me an Agaricus Fungus Visionum Delectamentum Mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. Those don't sound legal. And your point is... Goodbye. seen my dime? I need to stay focused and Whoa there, little agent of Reno. Like I said before, you can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. I have an official map right here. Oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks uh, legit of Reno. Hmm, odd. I thought I... Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. I guess I'd better return all these maps to the quickie, pal. I feel like we're getting close to cracking this case. The only thing you're getting close to cracking is my patience with you. Let's work together and I can get on with my... I mean... We can get out of this town as quickly as possible. Agreed. We need to talk to that crazy clown at the circus. He's got serial killer written all over him. Wouldn't it be quicker to just shoot him? We need to have a chat with the geeky programmer at the old mansion. There is something odd about her. Yeah, a woman with a brain. Definitely suspicious. Let's get cracking. <sighs> It's a puddle full of muddy water. bush are razor sharp.
digging. What are you doing there? Oh, I'm just digging. It uh, uh, mostly holes. But then I buried them again, all neat and tidy. Better ring the doorbell. Hello? How can I help you? Federal agent. Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry. This isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. It's my specks of dust. I can't open. That doesn't seem to work. You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? What nonsense. My thoughts exactly. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope, but this reporter's nose says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. And Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. can't push that. It looks better from this side. The doors are closed. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. He can't hear me. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. Won't you quit playing that music? You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Hey, dude, what's your damage? Yo, dude. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. 
I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like, barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Your jacket is not the latest and greatest. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm so sure. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses gotta be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Your shoes are not the latest and greatest. What's your damage? Of course! They're totally awesome! I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I've got a fly homie who... Get real! I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser! I would totally... Oh yeah? Prove you're not just... Sure, I can prove it. I know this gnarly dude who... ...was on MTV and... ...tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? It's a pillow bear prototype. Turn the plug. I could do with both a hug and a nap right now, but I've got to get ready for my meeting. Want this bear? Guess he can't hear me. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. Who, what do you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your glasses, no faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them! First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. I'm not thirsty. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri-Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, abu. Abu, abu, abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, abu. Unless I get more paper, abu, I won't be able to help you out. I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Franklin and um, Frank Zappa. Of course, Mr. Zappa. We have a lovely suite, Abu, for you on the fifth floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the tenth floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Zappa. Well, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. 
I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. It's the key card for my room. Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. And I still need to get a copy of my amazing prospectus. Then I can keep the original for myself and give a copy to the investors. It's a security camera. I can't stop it recording or move it. I don't want that. The doors are closed. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly, so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. It's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room. I don't want to pick that up. The doors are closed. It's a photo of a clean standard hotel room. That's the way out of... This key card doesn't open this particular room. It keeps falling off without anything to hold it on. Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. Just got to get a copy of that prospectus so I can keep my original. Then... Are you happy now? I've done everything you ask.
it's locked. Could you use this as photocopying paper? That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? This toy's butt. <laughs> sir, sir, I cannot condone cruelty to animals, even toy Abu animals. A glass of water? Sounds like a fascinating science experiment, Abu. However, I have a hotel, Abu, to run and don't have time for science. Static electricity? Someone told me electrostatic Abu is used to make photocopies. However, I don't know how to photocopy Abu that. This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. Last task done. Now I'm ready for my meeting. Better get back to my room and call the investors. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're not telling the press anything until his family is notified. Respectable feds? Interesting development. But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name Frank Zappa. So it may not have been Chuck's brother. What room did the man with a large nose check into? It was a room on the fifth floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge like you have. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Hello, Sheriff. Why are you moonlighting as the hotel manager? Oh, Abu, uh, I'm not the sheriff. I'm the hotel manager. Uh, the sheriff says that annoying Areno thing all the time. You'll never hear me doing that, Abu. Sure. Whatever.
Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh. I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an Otterino coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Frank Zappa. Sounds legit. He checked into a room, Abu, on the fifth floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out your, um, interesting lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. That gum appears to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. I'm not touching that. What was all that about? Why couldn't they see me? I'm dead? Hmm. Well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. About time you joined us in the land of the almost dead. Who are you? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost? You're going to scare at least two people who try to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay? Everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? By the way, your brother died. Chuck's dead? When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. Maybe I have special powers. Doors are closed. The label says Pillow Bear. The toy that can be turned into a pillow.
It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. That tickles. Also surprisingly easy. The elevator isn't on this floor. Maybe I should just find a hole to crawl into. There's no water to splash there. Sorry, but Xavier said no one could go to the penthouse. Hello? I better jet out of here. Oh, it's just the drinking Abu fountain. As long as it's not something serious, Abu, then I won't have to call our plumbers. Not bad. Now you need to find someone else to scare. Then you'll have met your daily quota. I have to get back to work now. How long are you on door duty for? Until Xavier says we're all done for the day. Now, deep breath. Now, deep breath. Blue was never my favorite color. Hello? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on. Doors are closed. going through while it's spinning like that. <sighs> the only explanation for that is the plumbing here is terrible. I don't believe in ghosts, unlike certain other agents. Sorry, that's not the reaction you wanted, is it? What I meant to say was... <laughs> oh my, I'm so shocked and startled. Please save me from myself. What's going on here, Abu? The drinking fountain is having a little moment. Oh, it's just the fountain, Abu, again? It still doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers, Abu. Passable. I'm surprised you had it in you. Time for another ghost meeting. Clara, Virgil, get over here now. Virgil, good work on the door. That should do it for today. New ghost. Average first scares. Keep practicing. Clara, stay on elevator duty. I need some privacy. This is outrageously unfair. Why do the men get to finish for the day? Enough complaining. Do you remember what happened last time? All right, all right. Sorry about him. We don't know who put him in charge. Well, back to work, Abu. 